dear clothing manufacturers. Hi there! So, I'd like to talk to you about a very important subject. I'll do my best to outline this as clearly and concisely as I possibly can. What the actual buggering fuck are you doing with your bastard clothes sizing, you fuck-witting cockwombles? Now, I'm going to go a little bit retro on you for a moment. Let's go back to the late 1990s, when Donald Trump was still known as a cretinous asshole rather than leader of the free world, and my breasts still hovered at somewhere above waist height. Back then, shopping was a simpler experience. Back then, one had one consistent set of measurements and one shopped accordingly. Back then, in my late teens, I had a size 8 waist, which I never fucking appreciated, not for a moment, because I was an utter dick, a size 10 chest, and a size 500 billion arse, because even back then, in the very throes of youth, my bottom has always been, quite frankly, out of control. I would go into any retail outlet and I would select a size 10 top, a size 8 dress, or a size 500 billion pair of trousers. From Marks and Spencers to Miss Selfridge, just like Cinderella, I knew it would be the perfect fit. That was then. But this, this is now. Now my waist, chest and arse size have expanded exponentially. Now that in itself I could kind of live with. At the very least, I could blame the having birthed two children factor, as opposed to the reality, which is having drunk too much wine and eaten too much chocolate factor. But is it honestly too much to ask to want to go into multiple shops and purchase the same size of clothing in each of them? Apparently, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, this is a totally unreasonable request, and how very dare I even broach the topic. These days, my shopping experience goes something like this. Let's imagine, for the sake of this exercise, that I'm purchasing a pair of jeans. Marks and Spencer. Size 12. Hell, if I breathe in and offer up a silent prayer, I might even manage a size 10. Next. Size 12. Unless they're slim fit or skinny, in which case I'd rather have that extra slab of dairy milk and head straight for a size 14. Dorothy Perkins. Size 14. I like Dorothy Perkins. You know where you are with Dorothy Perkins. Miss Selfridge. Size 16. If you're lucky. To be honest, you'd probably be better off with a size 18, except we don't cater for people with actual arses. H&M. Ha 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 Good luck with that, you fat fucking bastard. Can you see what I'm getting at? It's positively unhinged shopping these days, and it is also very definitely unfairly targeted at the fairer sex. My husband consistently displays surprise that I cannot buy clothes online. Can you not just get some jeans off eBay? Can I not just get some jeans off eBay? No, no I cannot, because dependent on the retailer in question, the day of the week and my fucking star sign, I could be anything from a size 6 to a size 66! Fuck my actual fucking life. And so, please, I have a plea. Could we stop all this nonsense with vanity sizing and variable measurements and clothes that are made by people with their eyes closed using tapeworms instead of tape measures? Could we please, please, for once in our lives, just resort to logic? How about, and here's a radical idea, we get people to measure around their chest, waist and bottom areas. 26 inch waist? Well, guess what? You buy a dress in a 26 inch waist. 500 billion inch arse? You buy a pair of jeans and a 500 billion inch arse. You get the idea. Anyway, I will leave this one with you. I look forward to your enthusiastic response and a commitment to transforming my retail experience for the better. In the meantime, I'm off to pen some further missives to you. My bottom and waist are not in direct proportion to each other, and that does not make me a bad person who should be unable to purchase clothing that fits, and your changing room mirrors should come with unlimited supplies of gin and antidepressants, for a start-off. Much love. I know I need to stop talking.